All right, so when you open up the console, you are going to see this annoying error over here. And it says, each child in a list should have a unique key prop. To resolve this problem, we just have to go back to the code and specify the key. So quickly head on to VS Code. The key must be something unique within the list. We are going to search for a property that can be used to uniquely identify each employee. So when you observe the list, you will realize that the name is quite unique. So the employees right within this list is got different names. We can then proceed to use the name as a unique key prop. Come here. So I'm going to do key equal employee dot name. When you save and check out the browser, can you see? The error is gone. Beautiful. Everything seems to be working perfectly fine, but it is not advisable to use the name as a unique key prop. You know why? It is simply because in a reward organization, chances are you will have two different employees that bears the same name. So it is not proper to use name as a unique key prop. Let me show you quickly. Okay, here we have Edu Baba. So let's change this guy here to Edu Baba. Because in a reward organization, chances are two employees will bear the same name. So when you have something like this, there's going to be a conflict. Okay, so using the name as a key prop is not going to work anymore. Can you see? It says, encountered two children with the same key. Edu Baba. Keys should be unique so that components maintain their identity across updates. So, the best way to solve this problem is to specify an employee ID. Simply because in a reward organization, employees must have a unique ID. So, every employee has got different ID. And that is the best way to specify the key probes. Come here. Right on the list, we just have to specify the ID, make it one, highlight, copy. Come here, paste, make it two, paste, make it three, and lastly, make it four. So if you have more employees in the list, you can as well specify their IDs to match the number of employees. And right here, we are going to change it to ID. On the browser, let's quickly refresh the console. Can you see? Everything is working perfectly fine as expected. Another important point that I want you to take note of is that when specifying the unique key probes, it must be done at the top level. Go back to VS Code and let me show you quickly. So if I should wrap up everything in a parent div, Highlight, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, tap the up arrow key to move it in. And then, when we save and go back to the browser, the key is not going to work any longer. It says each child in a list should have a unique key prop. It is simply because the key props must be done at the top level. So I'm just going to highlight and then cut it off. Come here, right within the div, paste it. All right, we just have to quickly format the code. Beautiful. On the browser, let's refresh the console. Can you see? Everything is working perfectly fine. This is all for now. See you in the next lecture. Stay focused and always take care.